Hi everyone, welcome to Shark Tales. Let's dive back into the world of sharks. This week, the research team uh, made a couple of trips along the coast of the Outer Cape. They saw sharks everywhere from Monomoy, so the southern tip of Cape Cod, all the way up to Provincetown in the north. It was a bit slower than it has been in previous weeks. Uh, the pilot had to work a little bit harder to find sharks. The water is a bit stirred up. There's a lot of mung. Um, it's this algae that, that crops up during the summer off the coast of the Cape. There's a lot of mung in the water, so visibility isn't as great. It doesn't mean sharks aren't there. It just means we had a harder time finding them. But Dr. Greg Skomal of the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries still managed to tag three sharks this week. Um, and so at this point, the research team is up to 15 sharks tagged by the end of July. So again, it's been a record-breaking season tag-wise. On July 2nd, the research team saw White Shark Nancy, a 12-foot female shark that was tagged by Greg Skomal last year off the coast of Nauset Beach. Um, what's really cool is not long after that, uh, she was detected up in Canada. So she's already made her way up the coast all the way up past Cape Cod and has gone up to Canada. So we know from tagging data that's been collected by the Division of Marine Fisheries over the past almost 10 years uh, that some white sharks just treat Cape Cod as kind of a pit stop and, and have a seal snack. Um, and then they continue further north up into the Gulf of Maine and up off the coast of Canada. Hey everyone, have you listened to our podcast from this past week? If you have, then you should know how many gill slits a fish has to have to be categorized as a shark. It's my favorite shark fact, so let's see who knows the answer. Do they have three to five, five to seven, or seven to nine on each side of their body? If you guessed five to seven gill slits, you are correct. To be a shark, the animal has to have five to seven gill slits on either side of their body. Oftentimes, artists are only gonna draw them with three, maybe four, because apparently, artistically, that is what looks better. But to be defined as a shark, the animal has to have at least five, or they can have up to seven gill slits. Some have six, we call them six gill sharks. Some have seven, so guess what we call them? Seven gill sharks. Thanks everybody for tuning into Shark Tales this week. Follow NBC10 Boston on Instagram and YouTube so you can get updates on sharks all summer.